session of the Legislative Administration Committee. Uh, I'm going to take the bills a little bit out of order. Uh, the first bill I'm going to take up is 1654 relative to State House Security. And um, I would represent, uh, recognize Representative Kepner for a motion. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I would move for ITL. Is there a second? Second right here. It's been moved ITL by Representative Hefner and seconded by Representative Lorando. Representative Hefner, would you care to speak to your motion? Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I guess a couple of thoughts on this. Number one, the bill requires metal detectors to be put in, and I hate to see that going into our state house uh, and, and the LLB for that matter. Uh, I brag to a lot of school kids that I accompany through the state house, uh, telling them about the unfettered access and it's their building. And uh, I just hate to see the metal detectors and the security lines. And oh, by the way, there's a cost associated with that. Uh, I also have a problem with uh, hacking away at our Second Amendment rights. Uh, and, and oh, by the way, this, what this bill is trying to do, has probably already been accomplished through the rules process, and therefore this would be redundant. Thank you. Anybody else have a comment to make? Yes, I guess that I have a question, and my question would be, if I want to leave things just the way that they have been all along, then would I be against this thing? Let me answer your question in this way, and, and I should make a record of this also. Currently, what, the rule we have was a rule promulgated by the Facilities Committee, and you are absolutely correct. The Facilities Committee has always been the committee that has dealt with this issue by rule. Uh, at some points in the past, the rule has allowed guns in the State House. At some points in the past, the rule has prohibited guns in the State House. But the rule has always been made by the Facilities Committee here. Does, does that answer your question in part? Well, it's giving me some history. And then, history too. And then, well, let, let me finish my understanding, and then I would be glad to be corrected on okay. anything. Okay. What we have before us is a bill that would make the carrying of a gun into the State House a felony offense and which would require metal detectors and, as Representative Hefner pointed out, attendant costs. None of that is currently provided for in, in the current rule. What you all need to know is that in addition to this bill, last fr uh, on Monday when we were actually hearing other bills, the Rules Committee met and gave Representative Chandler permission to introduce yet another bill that would, I assume, because I haven't seen the text of that bill, I assume that would, by statute, overrule the current decision of the Facilities Committee. But certainly, if, with respect to this bill, if you want to leave things the way they are now, you would certainly vote ITL on this bill, I think. Thank you very much. And I hope that was responsive to the question. Thank you. Uh, Representative Baldessar. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just wanted to touch on being somebody who's got many years of uh, handling weapons, shooting all sorts of uh, weapons, rifle range, pistol ranges, in my many years in the Marine Corps. Um, the rule, of course, I, I'm one who carries, and I'm not scared of saying it. My gun is downstairs in a um, lockbox. The way I turned in my weapon this morning, I put it in the box, the way our system is set up right now under the rule which this would help to, is a very unsafe condition. Because I know enough how to clear my weapon and how to take up the uh, magazine, how to open it and everything else. It's an accident waiting to happen. I'm hoping here that because we have over 14 entrances in this building, we have a corridor that comes out from the annex into our building. 
we have security guys that don't carry weapons here, and of course the building now that calls for all this stuff. This would be a great cost to the state for where we have never had one incident except somebody carrying open carry, which is within our constitutional rights. So I'm hoping and highly support the ITL because I think that we probably, in New Hampshire here, since the last three years, have been the, the most safest state in the country to live in, and people are proud to walk into our state house. Thank you. Oh my God. The, mo the current motion is ITL. is ITL. Yes, I spoke to the ITL. Other people wanting to comment? I am going to state for myself, um, speaking as the representative for my district rather than as the chair of the committee, that since we have had this bill, and since we have had this controversy about firearms in the State House, <coughs> I have spoken to a number of people in my district in an informal and exceedingly unscientific poll, um, and their response is, why, why do people need to carry guns in the State House? And I know that there are two sides to that question, but their concern to me is we have school children, we have members of the public, we don't need to have guns in the State House. And my position is I believe them. I also believe with Representative Hefner that I am so proud of the fact that people, this is the people's house, people walk in, people walk out, we don't have metal detectors, I am concerned of the costs associated with this bill, and I certainly don't want to make the carrying of a firearm under these circumstances a felony. I hope that one way or another when all has settled and the dust is cleared, the facility's current ruling will stand. But I believe this has always been a matter for facilities. I am content to leave it so, whichever they come around. And I will support the ITL of, of this bill in furtherance of that. Anybody else? Are you ready for the vote? Mm -hmm. we'll call the roll. Yes. Um, Representative Madan is absent. Representative Lerner. Yes. Shirtman is absent. Representative Gottman? Yes. Noor? Yes. Pierce? Yes. Wheeler? Yes. Coney? Yes. The clerk votes yes. Hunt? Yes. Flanders? Yes. Dowling? Yes. Patton? Yes. Milham? Yes. Representative Kidder is absent. Baldessaro? Yes. And Hefner? Yes. And the chair? Chair votes yes. That yeah. is 15 to nothing. <laughs> I suspect that putting it on the consent calendar represented Miranda as an exercise in futility, and therefore I'm going to direct that that go on the regular uh, calendar. I am. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Because somebody's going to take off. Do you want to make a motion to say on consent? Yes, I move to consent. I second. What's your pleasure? All those in favor of putting it on the consent calendar? Aye. Aye. Opposed to consent? Then we will put it on the consent calendar. Because it could get cold. That's the only way it does not Right. Okay. <laughs> yes, I will write the board. And, and yeah. if I could ask for writers to have their words today, that would be very helpful because then we can get them into the next calendar. We'll talk about that later. Thank you, one and all, on 1654. Um, the next bill I'm going to take up is 1473. This is the bill that requires lobbyists to file an annual statement and if you will recall, for those of us who were here to hear the bill, because we had some who were.